Early to rise means you're first on the bike trail. The alarm cat greets me at the door with his feed me meow. Happy kitty. First things first, a banana. Or I might have oatmeal before I go riding. So this is Black Beauty here. And we're gonna go attack the hills. Gotta power up these hills. There's no button to make the incline go down. I usually have a cliff bar somewhere on my ride. For breakfast today, I'm having oatmeal. Old fashioned oatmeal is the best, not the quick cooking stuff. That's more processed. So less processed, more whole, that's always better. Four minutes into the microwave. Then I'm adding frozen blueberries while it's hot. The blueberries thaw quickly and the oatmeal cools off enough so I can eat it. Add a banana and it's ready to eat. Now, if you were trying to lose weight, I would recommend veggies for breakfast, veggies with a starch. So lunch, we got a little veggie burger we're gonna grill here. This is pinto beans and lentils. The grill's a little crusty, but that's okay. Then we're gonna have some veggies. I've got some frozen veggies. This is broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. And these are peppers, pepper strips. I'm gonna microwave them for lunch here. I'm gonna make about a pound. This is 12 ounces. To make a pound is 16 ounces. So, you know, here's another four ounces, not that I measure anything, into the microwave and then put it in for about four minutes. I have a mixture of black and pinto beans. These are from the fridge. We made them the other day. So I'm gonna add in about this much and warm these up in the microwave. So now basically I'm gonna assemble these ingredients here. I've got the pound of vegetables that are cooked now. I've got the black and brown beans that I warmed up. Here is the Instant Pot. I just made a little rice. We only have uh, white rice right now. So I've got a little rice. So I'm gonna scoop some of this yummy rice into the veggies. I don't know, about that much, I guess. Got to get some starch. Now I'm gonna scoop beans into the veggies. Put the whole thing. So I got beans and veggies and rice, okay. Now my burger. Here it is, my golden crispy veggie burger. Take it out. Whoop on the plate. Now I got a knife and I'm gonna cut this thing up a little bit. So I cut the burger up into pieces and I'm just gonna dump those pieces in there. There's my lunch. Yum! It's ready to go. It's a lot of food. I'm a volume eater. Now to eat this I'm gonna use some condiments of some kind. I might use shriraka which is a hot sauce. Here's an organic no salt seasoning from Costco. I'm going to definitely put basil on there. Mrs. Dash, I love a lot of their, this is garlic and herb, they're different spices, all salt free. Might have some ketchup or some bone second sauce. It's going on top of that and it's going down here, okay? Down in the tummy. <laughs> so it's dinner time and I have a saying around here which is, if it's good for lunch, it's good for dinner. All right, keep it simple. I'm starting with a burger, uh, another veggie burger here on the grill. So we got broccoli, cauliflower, and uh, carrots. I'm adding in some mixed veggies, which has got some corn and lima beans, string beans. Ah, that's about a pound. Into the microwave. So why keep it simple? Why eat the same thing for dinner that I had for lunch? Because it's available, it's here, it's cooked, it's good. And it's good for you, it's healthy. And I don't find it boring. I often eat the same food for lunch and for dinner uh, because it's healthy, it's low calorie density, and uh, it's very satisfying. And plus, you know, we make in bulk, we make beans, we make rice in bulk, so that'll last for a day or two or three depending, and uh, we just assemble the different ingredients in different ways. Now, when Sabrina is making dinner, she gets more fancy. She adds in the 
mushrooms and grilled onions and things like that, which I always eat. But me, when I'm doing it myself, just easy, simple, healthy. Again, I got the brown and black beans out of the fridge that were made yesterday in the Instant Pot. Time to add everything together here. Let's put in the beans, yeah. And in here we got this white basmati rice from India, which I really like. We usually do brown rice, but every now and then we do this, and this is really yummy stuff. So I got a lot of starch in there. Got a lot of veggies in there. Time for a veggie burger. Put this here, I'm gonna cut it up first. I like my veggie burger kind of crispy like this. You don't have to cook it or grill it quite, quite this long, but uh, it's tasty. So this is a pinto lentil burger that Sabrina made a day or two ago. We just keep them in the fridge. Doesn't this look really tacky that I'm eating out of a Pyrex bowl? That's what Sabrina thinks. But you know, it tastes just as good in a Pyrex bowl. No one is looking, the kids are in Europe. Willie's visiting his grandma, it's just me and Sabrina, so who cares? Again, I got the different uh, possibilities here. Cholula, some ketchup, Mrs. Dash is one I always like. I'm gonna put a little uh, basil in to start. So that's what I ate that day, but it's not unlike what I eat other days. I've recently been adding more calories because my biking, and I'll do another one of these to show you what I'm eating these days. Thanks.